So I'm just back from my weekly shop and the good news is it was my cheapest shop yet. I spent the least I've spent in the last, well, ages. So stay tuned to the end to find out how much I spent. The bad news is I got caught in the rain and got absolutely drenched. But that aside, I'm chuffed with what I managed to get with my weekly food budget. I will show you what I got, what I'm planning to make with it and how much I spent, so stay tuned. If you can hear Peppa Pig in the background, I have a very grumpy toddler who skipped her nap today. So if I turn that off, all hell's gonna break loose. So I do apologize if you can hear it in the background. It's as annoying to me as it probably will be to you. So I'm gonna start with these because I'm really excited to see Aldi doing cotton candy grapes. I have bought these before from M&S, I think, possibly Tesco, and they were so nice. Marion loved them as well. So excited to give those a go. Other fruits I picked up were these Easy Peelers, which Aiden loves. He could eat like five or six in one go. I also got some raspberries, strawberries, and blueberries. The strawberries from there last week weren't great, so I'll see how these are, but they went off really, really quickly last week. Then for veg, I picked up some baby spinach, some corn on the cob, some tomatoes on the vine, cucumber, garlic, red onions, and a red and yellow pepper. I spotted these cod nuggets in the fridge section and I thought the kids might enjoy them, so I picked those up. Then I got some chicken mini breast fillets, two packs, these were on offer, some breaded chicken steaks, which I get every week, and some lean beef mints. I also got some smoked pancetta, some oak smoked ham slices, salami, and that's it for meat. And then up here I've got some mature cheddar slices, extra mature cheddar cheese, some grated grana padano, I think I've got, yeah, some halloumi at the back. Then we have sour cream, creme fraiche, salted butter, two tubs of hummus, two packets of fromage fray, a big bottle of milk, and some pepperoni snacks. These were a big hit with the kids, they loved them. They're the dreamy cake bars, so I bought two packets of those and a packet of scotch pancakes for Marnie as some snacks, but the kids have already spotted them, so they'll be gone in about 30 seconds. Then up here we have a bag of pasta, some raisins, jalapenos, a korma sauce. I used to love the chicken, what are they called? Sizzle and stir curry sauces in a jar, and you had this little pot of spices and herbs and stuff, and then a sauce over the top. I used to love those when I was a student. I practically ate them all the time, so when I saw this, it all the memories came flooding back, so I want to give this a go and see what it's like. And the only curry Dan will really tolerate is a korma, so let's see how he gets on with this. Then round here, we've got some sweet chilli sauce, some green pesto, two tins of mixed beans, two tins of chopped tomatoes, a packet of bean snack pots, some pitted green olives, some light mayo, a jar of chilli sauce and a jar of chocolate spread. Then I have a bottle of squash, some crisps. These I just spotted on the aisle and thought they looked nice, so we'll give those a try. And under here, and completely influenced by Charlotte Taylor, is this salted pretzel chocolate. I've seen her talk about it a few times and it just sounds like my perfect, perfect chocolate bar, so excited to try that. And then down the front we have some ready to wok noodles, a packet of chow mein sauce, which I thought might be a nice quick easy tea. At the back, I caved and got my kids a box of these chocolate pillows. It's their favorite cereal for a treat, so they can have that on the weekend. Then I got a bag of porridge oats, six eggs, some chocolate chip brioche, sandwich thins, two packets of wraps, and a packet of toilet roll. Then in the freezer, I picked up these chocolate and hazelnut cones for the kids. You can just see them there and a tub of vanilla ice cream, and that's it. So my meals for the week are a tarragon chicken bake, which is basically like a chicken pie, but instead of using pastry, you top it with mashed potatoes, so it's kind of halfway between a chicken pie and a cottage pie, which sounds right up my street, and I love tarragon, so we're gonna have that. I think the kids will like it. It's not one I've tried before, and I'm just gonna serve it with broccoli, so I'll let you know how we get on with that. Then I thought we'd do the chicken korma with that sauce that I showed you with some rice, and I know the kids will enjoy that as well. Then, as per usual, I will be making some chilli so that Marnie will be happy, so I thought instead of just having chilli this week, we might have enchiladas with some salad. Then I've planned in a chow mein using that sauce I showed you and the noodles, and I think we'll have that with some chicken if I have some left, and some egg cut into strips and whatever veg I've got in the fridge. 
Then another new recipe that I found the other day is a herby veg rice and halloumi. It looks really good. It uses pesto and peppers and olives and onions and then you top it with some griddled halloumi. It looks absolutely amazing so we'll have that. Any leftover chilli I have I'll use for quesadillas later on in the week. And lastly, I'm not sure if I've spelt that right but I'm going to do pasta a matriciana which is basically a spicy chilli and bacon tomato based pasta. And those are my meals for the week. So that's everything I picked up this week to feed my family of six and what I'm planning to make with it and I spent a grand total of £69 which I'm so pleased with. I normally spend around 75 to 80 pounds at Aldi on a weekly basis, so I'm really, really pleased with that. Hopefully I can keep making savings and keep cutting my grocery bill every week. So stay tuned to see how I get on and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. If you enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye.